sheep get up in the morning we always say good day when sheep get up in the morning we always say good day we say ba ba and that is what we say we say ba ba and that is what we say this is a rhyme that is about opposites and rhyming it's called two little bluebirds and it goes like this two little bluebirds sitting on a hill one named jack one named jill fly away jack fly away jill come back jack come back jill two little bluebirds flying in the sky one named low one named high fly away low fly away high come back low come back high two little bluebirds sitting on a car one named near one named far fly away near fly away far come back near come back far two little bluebirds sitting on a gate one named wavy one named straight fly away wavy fly away straight come back wavy come back straight two little bluebirds sitting on a toe one named fast one named slow fly away fast fly away slow come back fast come back slow Do you see it? It's a hummingbird. The hummingbird is gathering nectar from these flowers. This is a song called Mrs. Oak Tree. It's sung to the tune of Frere Jaca. To start off, we're going to pretend that we are a tree. The song goes like this. Mrs. Oak Tree, Mrs. Oak Tree, tall and brown, tall and brown. Here comes a gentle breeze, there go your little leaves swirling down to the ground. Let's sing it again. Mrs. Oak Tree, Mrs. Oak Tree, tall and brown, tall and brown. Here comes a gentle breeze, there go your little leaves swirling down to the ground. I'm Clyde the Coyote. I'm outside today. It's so nice. The sky is blue. The grass is green. There's my friend Clover. I can hear so many sounds today. Can you hear them? I hear the sound of the traffic and the cars zooming by. And this tree, there's a bird nest up there. Listen. Can you hear the birds chirping? And look, the leaves have started to fall off the tree. Can you hear them crunching when I walk on them? That's a nice sound, isn't it? Oh, did you hear that? There it is again. There's a train track a couple blocks away. Yeah.
I think I hear something over here. There. Do you know what that is? That's a cricket. I like that sound. And if you listen real close, you can hear the sound of the leaves rustling in the wind. That's a real nice sound. What sounds do you hear? Have you ever visited Blackhand Gorge? This bike path used to be train tracks, and they would quarry sandstone here. This particular area is referred to as the Deep Cut. The name of the preserve originated from a large, dark, hand-shaped carving known as a petroglyph that was carved into the side of the cliff. This is sandstone and it was quarried to produce glass. This is a rhyme called This Little Squirrel. It's like this little piggy. You can use your fingers or toes to say it. So it goes like this. This little squirrel said, let's run and play. This little squirrel said, let's hunt nuts today. This little squirrel said, yes, acorns are good. This little squirrel said, yes, my favorite food. This little squirrel said, come climb this tree and crack these acorns. One, two, three. break. When you hear the music, dance. When it stops, freeze like a statue. Have you noticed the leaves on the trees are changing colors? They're turning orange and red, yellow and brown. I have a fun song to sing about that. It's called The Leaves on the Trees. 
it's to the tune of the wheels on the bus. We need some arm movements to go with this song. We're going to pretend that we have our leaves up in the trees that are orange and red. Then the leaves are going to come twirling down. Then the leaves will swish on the ground. So this is how it goes. The leaves on the trees turn orange and red, orange and red, orange and red. The leaves on the trees turn orange and red all around the town. The leaves on the trees come twirling down, twirling down, twirling down. The leaves on the trees come twirling down all around the town. The leaves on the ground go swish, 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 swish. The leaves on the ground go swish, 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 all around the town. What is the first thing you think of when you think of fall? I always think of how the leaves change colors on the trees. So today I'm going to show you how to make your own fall tree. You're going to need two different pieces of paper, your background and whatever color you want to use for your tree trunk. You're also going to need glue, paints, some painting utensils. I'm going to be using Q-tips today um, and then a cotton ball that I've put onto a clothespin. And then you're also going to need scissors. Uh, if you're not allowed to use scissors by yourself, you can just have your grown-up help you. So to make the trunk, we're going to fold this piece of paper in half just like that and then we're going to cut right down the middle short side so we're left with what looks like a card right okay so this is where it gets a little fun we're then going to cut a curve almost like we're cutting a letter c right through the middle of this piece of paper so as you can see we're starting to get our tree trunk shape now, to make the branches of the tree, you can either cut straight across like this, or you can kind of make a little U. And, and actually, you know, I just want two branches, so I'm going to go right like that. And then you should end with a tree trunk. Mine's a little funky, but that's okay, because there are definitely funky trees out there, huh? <laughs> All right, so now we're going to want to glue our tree trunk. It almost looks like my tree trunk wants to give a hug. Um, we're gonna give my hugging tree some glue. There we go. I'm gonna glue that. I'm gonna glue it right at the bottom because I wanna leave all this room for our leaves. So here we have our background and our tree trunk. Now you can either use these, these, or even your finger. So if little little ones want to use their fingers to make the leaves, that will work just as well. Um, I wanted to use orange paint that I didn't have any, but red plus yellow makes, look at that, orange. Cool. All right, so I've got my orange color, and then you just simply go up above your branches and make leaves just like that so my yellow we need some yellow leaves I think yellow is my favorite what's your favorite color to see in the fall all right let's get a little bit of red oh yeah I like how fall like this tree looks already these leaves are pretty big so I think I'm gonna now do some q-tips instead let's get some orange there we go because not all leaves are gigantic i guess they're all different shapes huh there we go get some yellow very very cool and this is easy to do at any time of the year you can do all green leaves or maybe you want to get crazy and do rainbow leaves Maybe a purple tree. And there you have it. A fall tree. <laughs> oh, you can even go in and add 
do a little circle here in the middle. I wonder who lives in there. And you can even add some lines on the bark to give it a authentic tree look. Have fun. Bye.